Let's talk about somebody else that you got a man crush on. Oh. That would be Mr. Bill Clark. Yeah. And the UAB Blazers. Went six and three last year. Nine and five the year before that. I was just about to say that six and three game year is a, a huge disappointment for a Bill Clark team. Yeah, but only because they only played nine games. You know? I mean they, they sure. six and three is good. Six and three is good. Um quarterback Tyler Johnston is back. Offense should top last year's production. Because I mean they got studs, man. Yeah. Uh they absolute studs. Uh win total is sitting at eight. The over and the under are both juiced at minus one fifteen. FPI has them going nine and three. SP plus has them going seven and five. Ooh. Uh they are number sixty four in the country. In returning production, so it's basically like right dead in the middle. Well, and yeah. that's where it is. They're yeah. going to finish seven, eight, or nine. Like I don't think they're winning ten games, and they're nope. they're not they're not going six and six. No, I mean they they play at like Georgia. That's, that's where this game is going to yeah. find its way. Oh, they've got a new stadium that they're opening up uh, yeah, this no, year. I'm, you know, I'm the team about is loaded. That. Uh, however, they play at Georgia in the second game of the year. Their first no. game is against a, Jacksonville they, State. Take a, take a check. Take a check. Well, yeah, take a check. Uh, also, they play at Tulane this year. Yeah, which is going to be a lot of fun Willie Fritz it will be uh, it will be fun it, it's Tulane without Will Hall I'm curious to see what Willie Fritz looks like this is true he was great before Will got there he was better when better Will Hall Will. got there yeah let's see what that offense looks like without Will the opening game of their new stadium is check this out they play neutral side against Jacksonville State mm-hmm. on a Wednesday to open up the college football season go to Uga. then they play at Georgia at North Texas at Tulane first game and the new stadium is against Liberty. This at is home. a tough one. This yes. is a tough one. This is one I chalked up as an L. <laughs> they are projected to uh, to be uh, dogs by more than a touchdown here. So I'll, I'll probably take those points though. Probably so. I'm, I'm I'm hoping for a big point spread there. I uh, I don't like the schedule a lot, but I do like them in the toss up spots. I all their coin flip games. I just think I lean on coaching. I lean on experienced quarterback. I think they're going to win more coin flips than they're not. I'm going to go over the eight yeah, at minus too. 115. Me too. And so no, me too. I, I got, I got, I'm not going against Will, Will, uh, Bill Clark. I'm just not. I'm I, just I think they it. can win at Tulane. Um, I think they could find a way to beat Liberty. Like <sighs> It's going to be tough. I, 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 would, I wouldn't hate seeing it. I could see them beating Liberty more than I could see them losing to uh, Louisiana Tech or something. Oh, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. No, teams so. that they're better than, this is what good coached teams do. Yeah. They don't lose to teams they're not supposed to lose. Their swing game, by the way, uh, I think it's at the very end of the season. I think it's You think at, it's Southern Miss? No. I oh, think UTEP. It's, I think it's at UTSA. Oh, you, I was about to say, it can't yeah. be UTEP. Right? At UTSA. I yeah. think that might be the one that decides it. They're Keith Crap at UTEP. UTEP. Let's talk about them right quick. So, Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.